Look at this room that I got for upgrade. This is at Campus Inn. Who knew Campus Inn had these rooms? It is a suite. This is the room that I got for upgrading. And it's totally different from the PSD stage rooms and even the TNT stage. This is a whole nother level for the campus inn. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, YouTube, wherever you are. I'm here at Campus Inn in Springfield, Missouri. It is June the 29th, and I am on my way to my upgrade class in the Sim Lab. I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited to get my own truck, and I'm ready for this journey. So, let's go. Okay, let's go to this upgrade class. It's actually in the same building. I don't have to leave out this building. Didn't know it was raining.
YouTube. Plus schedule. Up top, day one. Prime Tech Certified course, you just did it. Upgrade skills test. I'm gonna do it in here in just a minute when I'm done talking. That's it for the weekend. There are no other classes offered on the weekend. Follow your schedule or uh, work on the CVTs, okay? Monday morning, down here in the red, says flatbed live training. See that? Yeah. In the red, says flatbed live training. In the blue, it says C3. <laughs> but I didn't have to wake up like y'all this morning. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. I was about to say, because I just got, I just rolled out of bed. Yeah, I did too. Oh, I guess I said about you. I took a shower. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shit, I guess I'm a, oh, I got one dude asked me if I was a teacher. You could, you do kind of look like a pad trainer. Oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> do I remember how to get down there? It's this way. I haven't been there since. Nah, it's this way. Oh, I need to talk to permits because we got a list of things we have to get for before we go on a truck. Oh yeah. Yeah. You just sit on that paper. Hey, Bobby, what's up? Jump out in the purple book. Yeah. Like the uh, uh, cables and all that stuff. Yeah, I did see that. I got half the stuff because the, the recovery truck I got, someone left all that on there. I was like, yes. Yeah, I got the, I don't know how to talk to the manager about that because the truck that I'm driving is an owner operator. Oh, uh, so and I you lease her company? I went company and worked for owner op that way. Oh, you, a mini fleet. Yeah. That's where it's at. I heard. That's the best of both worlds. Yeah. And that's because for a 11 hour drive clock, you've actually built into. So, if your 14 hour clock is showing with 7 hours and your drive clock is showing with 10, do you really have 10 hours to drive? Absolutely not. Do not. Maybe 7. The drive clock is counting down and everything. Okay? So, the 11 hour drive I'm on my way to my last upgrade class. It is pro maintenance and then I will be done and I can get my truck. I'm going to C5 in the same building as my suite. It's not far at all. I'm good, how are you? Good.
Excuse me. Hey, Miss V. Hey. Where is C5? Straight across from here. I opened the door just about five minutes ago. I can go. I can go out, out this way. Okay. You guys may or may not have run into at this point. It's still a little bit early in the summer, but your tripack, your APU, is going to struggle when it gets really hot out. This is not a great solution in extreme heat. When you guys get in, I'm talking well over 100 degrees, uh, you're going to start seeing this overheat. Um, so when you first start seeing this overheat, and it'll actually start in the mid 90s, when you first start seeing it overheat, there are a few things that you can do that will help this out and prolong how long it will stay running. Uh, number one, try to get out of the sun. One of the biggest issues is that direct sunlight. You've got direct sun rays bearing down on this unit and your truck. It, it will really help if you can find somewhere in the shade. I, I'm not a moron though. I, I know you guys spend most of your lives in concrete parking lots or no trees in here. I, I can't find shade a lot of the time. If you can't find shade, create a little shade. Stick an umbrella on the top of this. Does that one help? This red one? Yeah. Yeah. Red, red, red. Hey, that's the guy. Was he in classes with us? That's my favorite color. Oh, I see that. The three rows from the east end. Three rows? The third row. They should have just gave you a letter and what row it was in. You would think, yeah. Because all of these rows are letters. Well, good luck finding your truck. <laughs> The third row or from that well, I guess we'll find out. Oh look that that's nice. Ultra loss.
that's a day cab there. That, that's it right there. Okay. Six, three, three, six, 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 nine. Yep, that's it. That, oh, it's got the, see the um, steps? It's already got that on there. They're new? They're oh, it's still got the paper. It's got the paper on it. get a top matches which I kind of feel them feel like I wasn't gonna get there's a top mattress is a mattress up there I guarantee you if you pull it down it's still in there okay I have to look later I'm about to start it though so we can oh it's got carpet somebody had a carpet what is this I always want to ask my trainer what that was he didn't uh, even know some, some people take it out but you can put a drink in there like your oh. cup you want to set it there Let's see what this code is. The, the coolant, all the that's the windshield wiper fluid there, right? Yeah. yeah. Right I guess it's still power steering. Yeah. yeah you, you can tell it's still in the coolant. Um, engine oil. I don't. I don't, I don't what's this down here? That's not nothing leaking, is it? No, that's the condenser. That's from the AC. That's the water okay. that comes out of the AC. Because you know you got your, your engine oil that stick over here. Oh, 
wish I had a rag on me. I see it. You should. Where it's supposed to be at. I got some wipes. You got wipes on it? Can you mix that and put it back in there though? All you gotta do is wipe it off and then put that back in. Oh, you got the paper? Yeah, I hope okay. you don't need it. It's just a piece of wood. No, we don't need the paper. Okay. Okay. We're professional. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't do your PSD here? Nah, I, ah. I, just, I just came here because my training got into a wreck right before I finished training. Oh, uh, well, dang. Yeah. On a truck? Yep. Well, as soon as I went to sleep. Oh, wow. Well, Glad it yeah. wasn't you. Right, exactly. You woke up to uh, quite an interesting thing. <laughs> For sure. Say that for the end. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, at this point, it's just going to be. This is what he was talking about, the red for the jump start? Yeah. Okay. I never noticed that before. Huh? Do I need to take the paper off? into the bay. Like the light test? Yeah, as long as you like it, you should be good. Okay. Well, I appreciate you, man. I got to get some regular pictures now. Okay, this is my truck. Okay. Well, definitely hit you a test drive and uh, check your brakes and your lights. Okay. I'm going to go look at this other one. Yeah, I'm going to call my fleet manager and see. Okay, y'all, this is my truck. I am in Campus Inn in Springfield, Missouri.
Okay. Even though it was clean. new mattress and this is where my air fryer refrigerator and Keurig will go and I do have a TV that I'm going to have prime mount in here 